is James Hilda for IFL TV in association with the MGM Marbella. I'm at your call today for the Steve Goodwin card. With me, I've got the Flash, Chris Evangelou. What's happening, Chris? How you doing? I'm very, very well. I'm very happy. <laughs> I bet you are, mate. Great, yeah. great first round victory for yourself. Retiring Thank your you. opponent in the first round. Mike yeah, Lewis. yeah. Can you tell me a bit about that? Well, do you know what? It was my. Um, it was a big ask tonight because um, obviously when a fighter moves up in weight, you're always going to see what do they bring to that weight. Uh, is he going to keep his speed? Is he going to bring power? Is he going to lose power? Whatever. But tonight, um, I think I answered a lot of critics when they said that I won't be great at welterweight or whatever they've said. And um, I've shown that I'm actually a natural welterweight. I was what struggling. Did you come in at I was um, actually 10-10. I was actually ab above welterweight. Um, but. I've been a light water weight for 11 years and your body's crying out to move up in weight. So my body said, Chris, well, actually my coach said, Chris, move up in weight. It's time to move up now. Sparring, I've been sparring at 72 kilos and now today weighed in at 68 kilos. Um, and I just felt really good. I felt great. Um, I could feel the water weight difference in his power as well, but I only got one round to experience that, unfortunately. But, you know, God, God bless him. Mike uh, Miles, um, you know, really, you know, really nice guy came to me after the fight and said that's the first time he's ever been stopped so just uh, I'm really really happy. It's been an interesting journey for yourself hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like a roller coaster ride, highs and lows all the way up through still Back high again. Through <laughs> a yeah. young career, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I mean do you know what it's sometimes when you're you know and I really don't mean this in a big headed way at all because people who know me I'm not like well, that but um, when, when you sell a lot of tickets and when you're a popular fighter, they really push you quite quickly through your career because they really want to get you to a title. I was actually with Danny Connor tonight and he was commentating on the fight, um, who was obviously a, a past opponent of mine. And we, we spoke before my fight and do you know what? We really squashed all the bad sort of vibes that we had with each other. You know, he's a really nice guy. I That's even boxing. said that. You fight it is and boxing. Then you, you kind of put it behind yourself. Exactly. And you know what? Yeah, he'll be uncle to my kids in the future. Who knows? But I don't know. But, uh, you know, there's, there's ups and downs in boxing, especially in boxing. Obviously, in football, you might lose, but you play again the next week. And then you're always as good as your last performance. But in sure. boxing, because you're fighting one once and then three months later, you're fighting again, you've got to carry a loss for three months and then you've got to put all your eggs in that basket of another fight and then you might lose again. So then that means you've gone six months without winning and then that plays on your mind. Cool. So in my career, all I can say, it's a journey. I never said, when I, when I got into boxing at 18, I never said I'm going to be an undefeated fighter ever. I said I'm going to become world champion. If I'm 50 with 10 losses, but I'm holding a world title, then God bless me and I've made my dream come true. And my brother also. Do you think you've found your level in boxing yet? Or do you think you've uh, no, aspire not at and all. achieve a lot more? Um, I think with Don Charles in my corner and Luke, um, they've been with me every single day. I think, if anything, I gave myself a handicap because I never got a few things sorted on my body when I turned pro. I was trying to always... Because everyone's saying to you, you've got to turn pro young, you've got to turn pro young. And I was already 18 when I started boxing. So I was always against time. I never got like my hands sorted. I never got a few things sorted. I never moved up in weight when I should. So now we've got a balance. We've got a great training regime. I'm with Derek Chisora every day in the gym. So he's obviously an inspiration to get to that level. Um, you know, Don, who's an amazing coach. I can't sing his praises anymore. And what I've been doing to people in sparring, and the people I am sparring is quality now, like Liam Walsh, like fantastic world-class operator, Richard Comey tonight, um, he's fighting for the Commonwealth title, if anything he's one of the hardest punches I've ever felt in the ring, 17 knockouts out of 17 fights, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy, so the level is yet to come, I'm still a puppy. I've got a feeling that we're going to see you on some big TV cards one day, I don't know why, I, I just so. got the feeling that the journey's not quite... Not there yet. yet. Not not uh yeah, not hit the pattern. I mean that in a good way. I just Thank you, man. More to come from and I want to say, I um, I I don't know how what you call yourself these days. I don't know if you abbreviate I'm or James. if you. No, I know your name. I'm talking about your, your company, oh, right, iFilm yeah. London, is it still? Or Listen, whatever you want to call I want to say thank you to you guys. You followed my career from a very young age of, of my yeah. professional career. Yeah. And I just want to thank you for all the great interviews you, you guys have done. Thank you, Chris. So, nice great. Say, Bob. I appreciate that. The Evangelist Brothers are back. The only two guys to stop their opponent in the night so far. So, thank you, everyone. And God bless. Well done, Team Evangelist. See you soon. Thank you. See you in church Sunday. I hope so. <laughs> cool.